More control systems are found in a growing number of industrial applications. To optimize energy efficiency and reliability, these systems must run at peak performance. So it can be frustrating and sometimes costly when a circuit or control algorithm works great on its own but fails on meeting expected performance when designed into a high noise control system. ADI's motor control platform reduces risk and lowers time to market by allowing you to evaluate not only circuit performance but system performance as well. I'm Jens Sorensen, a motor control system engineer at Analog Devices. Let's have a look at the system. ADI's motor control platform consists of hardware, software and tools. There are two boards, a control board and a power board. The power board has universal AC line input and it drives a three-phase PM motor. The control board features Analog Devices new high performance motor control processor ADSP CM4X which is based on a floating point ARM Cortex M4 core. This processor leads in both execution speed and superior analog performance. It has two 16-bit ADCs with 13 effective number of bits and a conversion time of only 375 nanoseconds. The processor also features four sync filters that perform demodulation of a data stream from Sigma Delta converters. This level of integration minimizes the need for external circuits and thereby reduces cost. The power board has a digitally controlled boost converter for power factor correction. There's a three-phase IDBT module with digital isolation on all gate drive signals and status signals. The system offers two technologies for measuring phase currents. Hall effect lamp sensors and resistive shunts combined with sigma delta converters. Both feed back to the processor. Since the processor has built-in sync filters, the Sigma Delta converters are connected directly without need of any external circuits. As rotor position feedback, both encoder and resolver are supported. The system utilizes field-oriented control of a three-phase PM motor as control algorithm. Implementation is done using model-based design and autocode generation in MATLAB Simulink. By modeling power stage and motor, sensor interfaces and device drivers, and the control algorithm itself, the whole design can be simulated. And finally, through autocode generation, the algorithm can be deployed to the embedded target. Let's have a look at the platform in operation. We have started the motor and set a speed reference. While running, the target captures variables and streams them back to the PC. Here we are looking at duty cycle, motor current, and rotor position. The target is controlled through a graphical user interface through which you can change the configuration of the parameters and send commands. And you can stream real-time data back to the PC. Thank you for watching. For additional design information on motor control circuits and products shown in this video, please visit analog.com/motorhv.